What's going on guys? Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we're trying to draft that 12-0 team, so we're going for 120 or more likes on this video. Feel free to subscribe if you guys are new, getting closer and closer to 34,000 subscribers. Comment anything down below. Feel free to follow on any of the social medias or sub to the Fortnite channel that is down in that description. Real quick, I just want to talk about the pronunciation of Hannes Wagner. A lot of you guys are telling me different things on pronouncing it. Like the most liked comment on one of my videos or a few of them are that it's Honus. Kind of like Santa says ho, you know, like Honus Wagner. And I just want to say that if you go to baseballreference.com, it has a pronunciation. And to me, this looks like Hannes. Like the way I'm saying it, Hannes. Just like that H-O-N-N, -N, it looks like Hannes to me. And then if we go to Wikipedia, it says that he was sometimes referred to as Hans Wagner. I know Wikipedia is not the most reliable site, whatever. But Hannes Wagner, in his early life, he was born to German immigrants. And as a child, he was called Hans by his mother. Okay? And Hans eventually evolved into Hannes. Because Hans is not pronounced like Hones, right? It's pronounced Hans. So... That leads me to believe that if Hans evolved to Hannes, that's how you'd pronounce it, you know, Hans, Hannes. I feel like that's just leads me to believe that Hannes is the correct way to pronounce it. And then also on Wikipedia, it has a little pronunciation thing next to his name and you can click on it and it takes you to a little chart where there's a little backwards A and for that backwards A, that symbol, whatever it is, one of the examples is John. Han John, Han John, okay? And then you have the second part of his name with the, I guess, backwards and upside down E. And examples for that are focus. So Han, like John, focus, Hannes, focus, Hannes. You guys see what I'm saying? Like, so that leads me to believe that it is indeed pronounced Hannes, especially the fact that his parents were from Germany and that his name was Johannes Peter Wagner, Johannes. Hannes and that he had a nickname Hans and then that evolved into Hannes so to me it does seem like I was using the correct pronunciation where it is Hannes so I'm just curious down in the comment section below let me know what you guys are thinking about the pronunciation now that we've gone over that stuff I know Wikipedia is not the most reliable source right um and then baseball reference though let me know what you think of that like that capital H-O-N-N -N. like to me that looks like Han but I'm really not sure like that's like looking at that. That's how I would pronounce that on the little pronunciation chart But I'm just really not sure and I'm curious to hear what you guys think down in that comment section After seeing this information about the pronunciation of his name with all that being said Let's go ahead hop into this draft see who we got. Okay Uh, let's see. I kind of want to do Al K line. I wouldn't mind drafting him here. Have I drafted? No, I have not. Ooh, I'm excited to use this card, actually. I was going to say, there's always new Signature Series cards coming out, and I never know which ones I have or have not used. I always want to use the ones that I haven't used, and I'm excited to try on Al K-Line. His swing's been kind of glitchy for me, at least in MLB 18. I just remember one of his cards in MLB 18 being pretty glitchy for me, and uh, I'm hoping we like him there. Edwin Diaz. Ooh. Man. I want to go Edwin Diaz, but I'm just, I'm scared. Let's see, 368 average with Correa. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Edwin Diaz because my pitching is seriously... This is why. Normally, I would do Correa, but my pitching is what loses me games. So, I just want to make sure I have good relievers, you guys. So, that's why I'm doing him there. Jose Reyes, we're going to grab for now at second. Oh, yo. This is so tough, dudes. Josh Bell, live series, this player of the month card. One of my favorite cards in the game. I used him on my main account, his live series. This one once, one or two games here on my uh, my main account. And then I've used him on my second account. Like, I love Josh Bell cards. Switch hitter, a lot of pop. But Ernie Banks is another one of my all-time favorite cards. Six for 12 for him. With this version of Josh Bell and one for two, I would love to see my live series. But let me know in the comment section below, who would you choose in this situation? Ernie Banks or Josh Bell? I'm going to choose Josh Bell because it is a switch hitting diamond. He does have a little bit more power than Ernie Banks. And uh, power seems to be king for me, personally, in terms of hitting a battle royale. So we're going Josh Bell there. Uh, you're Don Alvarez. I think I did okay with him. Two for six. I'm not a fan of slow outfielders with bad reaction, though. Um, Let's see. I'm going to go Wilmer Flores at third base. He has some good pop in his bats. Fernando Tatis Jr. has just kind of a glitchy swing out there at shortstop. And good defense as well. We can get Tanner Scott, one of my lefties, out of the pen. 
Is Lou Trevino good? I don't like his pitch selection. I'll go Jorge Posada catcher. Why not? We'll go Jorge. Oh, Chris Davis. Yo, this is turning into kind of a nutty team. <gasps> oh, this is tough, guys. Raleigh Fingers, man. He's a great pitcher. Like, this This is all Battle Royale right here. I love Raleigh Fingers. I think I got to go Raleigh. Josh Hader's a beast, too. This is Battle Royale. I've never allowed an earned run with him in BR. Um, and there's a chance, like, I don't get a good lefty, though. But Raleigh Fingers is just so good, man. This card, like... I feel like this card is more usable against lefties than Josh haters against righties. Down in the comment section below, let me know if you were in my shoes, you were drafting this team, and you sucked at pitching like I do. Would you choose Josh Hader with a four seam, a two seam, and a slider? A little bit better stats, I would say. Uh, at least for some of them. Yo, that control's crazy. Or would you choose Raleigh Fingers? Sinker, slider, forkball, four seam with a good track record, just not as good. But a few more innings, more than double the innings of Josh Hader. Let me know who you would choose. I'm going Raleigh Fingers here. Uh, I, I just feel like I, I, that that's the move for me. Uh, Addison Reed, one of my righties out in the bullpen, sure. Please give me four common rounds in a row. There's one, there's two, there's three. Come on, where's the fourth? Dang. Uh, yo, Tony Sip was part of my was part of my 11 win team. <gasps> yeah, dude, Tony Sip, yes sir. I, I have to draft him right there. And then just yo, this card's insane for me too. Uh, never mind, he's not as good as I thought. I got so excited. Uh, but people love this card. I do like this card. He's my last lefty in the bullpen. There we go. And then let's see. So I have Raleigh Fingers, Edwin Diaz, Justin Wilson, Tony Sip. Should we do Archie Bradley? I could do Archie. I could do Delino to Shields Jr. as a pinch runner, though. I just I really don't want any more silver rounds for these next few things. So I'm gonna go. Honestly, actually, I'm gonna do. Let's see. I'm gonna do Ulysses Chassin. Uh. Tyler Anderson. Let's see. So I need another righty out of the pen. So, yo, there's actually two lefties and one righty. Wow. So we'll go Robert Stock. And then, yeah, that works out fine. I like that. And in center field, let's see. Aaron Hicks. Was I glitchy with him? 304. Nah. Does he have, like, a tops now or a player of the month card? I feel like he does. Maybe that's a card I did really well with. I'm going to go Aaron Hicks, though, out there in center field. Just go with the trend of switch hitters like we seem to be doing. And two silver rounds. I want to replace second base. Second base is what I'm looking to replace. Paul Day Young does play second base. So I'm going to get Paul Day Young. And he's my second baseman for now. Let's see. Pablo Sandoval, pinch hitter. Switch hitter is always good. 94 speed, pinch runner. Backup catcher in case we do need it because sometimes not often but sometimes I will do things for like my 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 catcher and then Okay, so I don't know it, it, it's kind of like Logan Forsyth for a pinch hitter versus lefties or Kristen Stewart for a pinch hitter versus righties or Goldie is just a pinch hitter versus both I think I'm going to do Logan Forsyth, pinch hitter versus lefties, and the fact that he plays a lot of positions, so if we wanted to do a double switch, pinch hit for someone random in the lineup to get the advantage, that works out too. So I just finished making the lineup, and I just realized, this is a really well-rounded team, one of my best overall teams of the entire year. We got 95 Josh Bell, Chris Davis, 99 Al Kaline, Jorge Posada, Fernando Tatis Jr., Paul DeYoung, Aaron Hicks, a good switch hitter, Wilmer Flores, a pretty solid hitter, and then in the bullpen, Diamond Raleigh Fingers, Gold Edwin Diaz, Gold Tony Sip, this Silver Justin Wilson, who a lot of people love, and I'm okay with him. Like, we have a great bullpen, a great lineup. I really want to just do my best I can with this team. Hopefully start off right now undefeated. Get win number one. We're playing the Pittsburgh Biscuits. Our opponent has 99 Tony Gwynn, 96 Ian Kinsler, Ronald Acuna Jr., Michael Brantley, 80 Tony Perez, Jorge Polanco, Luke Voigt, Buster Posey, Bryce Wilson. Ho well, actually, it doesn't matter if it's a righty or lefty, does it? I don't remember which uh, side Josh Bell is more power from. Devin Smelter on the mound for us. We're the home team We're trying to start off 1-0 with this team. Oh, Ian Kinsler. I, I don't know why. I just thought my third baseman was going to catch that. 
Ian Kensler, one out base hit, top of the first inning here. Oh, man. Raleigh Fingers, first batter he faces, giving up a base hit. And striking out Michael Brantley, big out number two. Let's try to get out of this inning without allowing any runs, you guys. Tony Perez flying out just like that, getting out of harm's way. Going to the bottom of the first inning, seeing if we could score some runs, jump out to an early lead. Jorge Polanco, home run. I just threw it down the middle. Oh, I had a 1-2-3 bottom of the first inning, and then leading off the top of the second, I throw a sinker down the middle. Smacks it for a dinger. Oh, man, Jorge Posada leading off the bottom half of our second inning, and he ties the game just like that. There we go. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Fernando Tatis Jr. grabbing a base hit. Nobody down. Let's try to take the lead and close it down in the top of the third inning. Wild pitch. Tatis advancing to second. Oh, man. Paul DeYoung got a good pitch to hit. I was honestly pretty much waiting for that pitch. And a uh, little bit under that one. One down. And Aaron Hicks. I'm never running on Tony Gwynn's arm again. At least in Battle Royale. Oh, man. Wilmer Flores. Drives in the go-ahead run, so we're three outs away from winning this game, 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 being 1-0 with this team. Pablo Sandoval, pinch hitting, could drive in around 30 speed. Look at that, I'm running on Tony Gwynn's arm. It's not quite the same situation, though, and we extend our lead to two. Josh Bell, let's go. Wait, no, it's going to be caught, isn't it? Dang. Oh, that one looks so good coming in and off the bat, too, but we have a lead, winning by two, going to bring in... Let's do Tony Sip just to have the matchup versus Tony Gwynn, and then we'll see if we want to bring in one of our righties to face Acuna and Kinsler. Kinsler, then Acuna, I should say. And Ronald Acuna Jr. grounding out as we hold on to win this game, starting off 1-0 with this team. Man, I, oh, Lord, I like this team a lot, guys. I really do. The hitting's great. The bullpen's great. And I'm excited to see how far I can get with this team. I don't want to say, I mean, I'm going to say, Every single team, I always say, I think it's a 12-0 team. But, like, this one, we actually have a good bullpen. We actually have a good lineup. We have great hitters, great pitchers, and I'm super excited to see how far this team can get and if I can continue playing well with this team. Only thing that scares me is with ranked seasons going, you know, back and forth between... The difficulties, Hall of Fame to All-Star, if we make World Series, then Legend to All-Star. You know, just going back and forth between those concerns me. But we'll see what we can do. If y'all enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below, follow on any of the social media, sub to the Fortnite channel if you guys want to down in that description. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out. Yo, face baseball. GG, man. I appreciate the love. I really do. That makes my day getting messages like that. So thank you so much. And hopefully you enjoy seeing yourself in this video, man. GG's. Again, thank you so much for the love. That's awesome. I really do appreciate it. And a good game. Hopefully you enjoy seeing yourself here in this video.